Hey guys, welcome back to Bro and Sis Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to calculate the volume of a cube. So to begin with, what exactly is volume and cube? Well, a cube is a three-dimensional figure and it is a type of a prism. And a vol and volume is when you find out how much space a three-dimensional shape takes up. So it makes sense because a cube is a three-dimensional shape. So I just mentioned that a cube is a prism. It is a type of a prism. So when you're calculating the volume of a prism, the main, the basic formula is going to be volume is equal to length times width times height. So in this, here is the length, so we'll label this L, this is the width, so we'll label this W, and this is the height, so H. So length, width, and height. So you multiply all three of them together and you get your volume. But the thing about a cube, all the sides are the same. So the length is equal to the width, and the width is equal to the height, and the height is equal to the length, and so forth. So you really don't have to figure out the measurements for each of these because they're all the same. Everything is the same in a cube. All the sides are exactly alike. So the reason we don't do length times width times height is because we really don't need to since they're the same. That is why the formula for calculating the cube is V volume is equal to S cubed. Now, what does the S stand for? Well, the S is just a variable to represent the length, width, and height. You could also say these are R times R times R. We could also say M times M times M. But generally, you use the variable S. And I guess it makes sense because S could probably stand for side. So side times side times side gives us volume. And the reason it's cubed is because you're multiplying it three times. Side times side times side is three times. So you write it V volume is equal to side S cubed. Okay, so as long as we know the measurement of one of these, if we know the length, the width, or the height, we can figure out the rest. So let's say that we know the length is equal to 4 inches. That means the width and the height have to be 4 inches as well. So we have it over here. So now if we plug this into the formula, we have V is equal to sides um, S cubed, right? So it's going to be 4 inches times 4 inches times 4 inches. So we know that 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So volume is equal to 64. And then here, inches so also remember this you know how when we're calculating the area we have to write whatever the unit is squared well when it comes to finding the volume you're going to have to write it whatever the unit is cubed and the reason behind that is we know that 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 and then here the inches is being multiplied three times so inches times inches times inches which is the same thing as inches to the power of three or cubed so that is why we write 64 inches cubed or it could be any other measurement so it could be centimeters cubed millimeters cubed meters cubed and so forth so remember when you're finding the volume it always has to be cubed so the volume of this cube is 64 inches cubed that means the amount of space of the amount of volume in this cube is 64 inches okay so that's all i have for you guys today and once again calculating the volume of a cube is pretty simple as long as you know one measurement so v is equal to s cubed and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.